Hello everyone, I'm Francesca Pittoni, an Italian pianist, and today I will explain how to record any song on the piano, showing you all the instruments I use and how I use them. First, the essentials are six. A keyboard, a computer, a sound card, a DO, in my case Ableton Live 10 Lite, which is an electronic system designed for recording, editing and playing digital audio. A VST, in my case Addictive Keys, which is a plugin that will simulate the sound of a piano, and finally some headphones. Let's start with the keyboard. There are MIDI keyboards that are able to play only if connected to a computer with a DO and a VST, or digital keyboards like mine, which in addition to that can also play without a PC. My keyboard is a Casio PXS1000. It is really good and I feel uh, I can highly recommend it. The keys are fully weighted and the feeling while playing is excellent. Plus, the keys have a texture that I fell in love with from the first use. The second thing needed is a computer, desktop or laptop, to which we will connect the keyboard. The computer I use is an HP Pavilion 15 CS2113 and L. The computer does not need to be super performing, a standard laptop or desktop computer is more than enough because what matters to us is mainly the external sound card, which must necessarily be bought separately. It is absolutely not possible to use the integrated sound card of the computer, there will be too many delays in the transmission of the audio signal, so you will not be able to do anything, but we will talk about the sound card later. Going back to the computer, we connect the keyboard to the computer via one of these two cables of your choice. You can use either a cable with mail output B to connect to the keyboard and with mail output C to connect to the computer, or a cable with mail output B to connect to the keyboard and with mail output A to connect to the computer. Be careful that in this way you will not be recording the sound of the keyboard, but only transmitting the MIDI signal from the keyboard to the computer, a signal concerning the pressure of the keys the duration of this pressure and more. If you want to record the sound of the keyboard, the configuration to use is totally different, so if you are interested in knowing how to do it, let me know in a comment. Moving on to the sound card, mine is a Focusrite 2i2, third generation, which I think is really good. The beauty of this sound card, in addition to being very valid and performing, is that uh, with its uh, purchase you will also get a DO for free that you can use to record your covers, which is uh, Ableton Live 10 Lite and also a VST, which is uh, Addictive Keys. Just follow the installation instructions to receive both for free. Thanks to Ableton Live Lite and uh, Addictive Keys you can do everything record, edit the tracks, add effects, save the project, export the WAV or MP3 and much more. If you prefer, as an alternative though, there is uh, also Fruity Loops, which uh, in its trial version allows you to do everything I mentioned above, but not to save the project. I also use uh, Fruity Loops sometimes, as uh, I am licensed, and I'm very happy with it. As for the VSTs, there are billions to try, with which you can get very different piano sounds. Then we connect the sound card to the computer with the appropriate cable, with mail output A. To adjust the output volume, you simply need to turn this uh, sound card knob, the other knobs are not relevant. Proceeding, headphones are essential to be able to listen to you, because no sound will come out of the sound card if you do not connect an output peripheral. My headphones are AKG K92s and they are pretty good, but honestly I don't feel like uh, recommending them 100% because I've tried better models like my old AKG k 232s The headphones will be connected to the audio output of the sound card. To avoid hearing the sound coming out of the keyboard, insert a blank audio jack into the keyboard's audio output. 
Once everything is installed, with the sound card and the keyboard connected and the headphones on, open Ableton Live Lite and go to Preferences. Here we have to set the audio input, selecting ASIO and Focusrite USB audio. We also check that the keyboard is connected in the MIDI settings and finally in the plugins options we select the folder where we downloaded the addictive keys. Now in the left menu select plugins and drag addictive keys onto one of the MIDI inputs. Here you can indulge in all the possible configuration of your VST in the edit option. I set up my own custom configuration. If you want to know in more detail what configuration of addictive keys I use and what effects I apply to complete the recording of my covers, let me know in a comment. First press IN, then you can start playing and recording. To record, then just press the two red buttons and play. Then stop recording with the stop button when you are done. To be able to listen to the recording again, you must press auto. You can now retouch your recording by changing anything, moving the notes or even changing the volume of each note for example. Then you can export the WAV or MP3 file or the MIDI file. The video is over, please share it and subscribe to the channel if uh, these minutes have been useful for you. I hope I have not left out any important details, but in this case please write any doubts in the comments below and then I'll try to answer to you.